Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We thank God for each and every one of you. Be the evangelist of the ministry. Invite others to listen to this prayer call for you don't know who has need of Jesus this morning. Glory to God. I want to remind you that today, tonight is faith, uh, faith and fish fry Fridays. We are going to have an awesome time. We will not be at our church tonight. We're doing a fellowship, um, with, uh, KPA at 1691 North Tetonio Drive. We're going to have a worship service, uh, six thirty is the fish fry, and the worship service starts at seven p.m. I'm not. Be- I don't believe we're gonna live stream, but I will try um, to record some of the worship part um, from my phone, probably. Uh, but we thank God for each and every one. Again, this is a free event, so sixteen ninety one North Tetonio Drive. If you need a refill of faith, you want to show up. Hallelujah! Again, the we serve food at six thirty. The worship experience starts at seven. We're going to have an awesome time in God. Oh, we are on day 12. Oh, honey, are y'all pressing in? Are you really, really increasing in your faith? Are you really trusting God? Are you really making the adjustments? Are you really just coming to listen? Because if you don't do what the word of God says, you cannot see the results of what you believe in God to do. Hallelujah. We are on 21... 21 consecutive days of financial breakthrough. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're fasting from financial habits that cultivate lack. Hallelujah. And we're using the pay regimen. That means that every day we're going to pray. We're going to uh, act on the word of God and yield to God's will. Today, I want to prophesy to you that you are anointed for prosperity. You are anointed for prosperity. It is the will of God for you to prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So let me, uh, I want to just kind of teach more today than pray, because I think a lot of people don't realize the anointing on your life. You don't realize that you are anointed to prosper, to win, to see health and wellness, to see a healthy marriage, to see your children well. You are anointed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me go to scripture. I'm only giving you, well, I'm just going to start out in this scripture and we'll go on. Luke 2, uh, verse 52, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature, and he found favor with God and man. The anointed one had to grow in wisdom and stature. And he had to experience what we're experiencing now. Your anointing has to grow up in wisdom and stature. And you're going to see the favor of God and favor with man. And when you're going through the test, listen, if this 21 days has not tested every part of your life, then you're really not tapped in. I'm being honest. Because when you begin to walk in and decree and begin to adjust and you begin to sow and you begin to give, and even if you've been doing it all along, everything uh, uh, everything about your life becomes, it goes into the testing mode of what you have spoken out of your mouth or what you have put it in the ground. Hallelujah. The enemy begins to come to try to kill, to steal and destroy your faith because he knows you anointed to prosper, but he does not want you to know how anointed you are. He does not want you to know how well God is moving in your situation because of your obedience. He does not want you to believe and trust God on levels that you never did before. And so now the enemy comes to test everything you do. Glory to God. And the Bible says in James 1, the testing of your faith work and patience, but let it do a thorough work that you be complete last now, let me tell you something. The, the anointing on your life cannot be bought in a store. Hallelujah. It cannot, it cannot be duplicated. Hallelujah. It can manifest if somebody, if somebody will come in and serve and sit under you. Hallelujah. That's the only way you can see the manifestation of duplication. There's no one, they can mimic you. They can try to be you. They can try to steal from you, but they cannot, uh, they cannot, they cannot. 
not. They cannot steal the oil on your life. These, this is why it's so important that you walk in your truth. This is why it's so important that you really believe who you are. This is why it's so important that you keep growing in wisdom and stature, meaning your character, your integrity, your humility, glory to God, because this is where it unlocks the favor. It unlocks new levels of oil. Your oil cannot be duplicated or replicated without someone sitting on in submission and, le- and, and beginning to see to receive the oil. You can pour your oil out, but it can only oil a person for a short time if they're not under submission and seated in humility to receive the impartation. I I wasn't trying to go here, but I hear the Holy Ghost. When people mishandle the oil, the anointing over anyone, it, it causes their vow to shut off. And sometimes I hear the Holy Ghost saying that many are missing out on their prosperity because they don't know who's anointed to help them prosper. Glory to God. There is a time and a season for everything under the sun. Let's keep going because I, I, I feel glory. I, I want to be obedient. Lord, I'm yielded to you. Whatever you want to do or say, I am yielded to you. You have given everything to me and I'm going to pour it out the way you want to pour it out. So I will not add to or take away the word of the Lord. It is going to be sure in my mouth. It will not fall to the ground. It will be hidden in our hearts. We will not sin against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Prosperity is biblical. It is an experience. It's an encounter within. Hallelujah. There's a way to prosper that is godly. There's a way to prosper that is unholy. Therefore, you do not rely on your own strength, your know-how, your abilities. Glory to God. You rely on the anointing on your life. This is why what the world does is not what you can do because God has anointed you to prosper. He's given you a blueprint. He's given you steps. He's given you a plan. He's given you provision. You've got to trust him. you got to rely on him. You too early to be broke. You too early to be stuck. You too early. You too cute. You too fine. You too all of these things to be stuck in, a, in the rut of poverty, uh, sickness, and lack. It is not the will of God. You will leave everything to walk in the supernatural power of God and do what God has called you to do. That's when you're going to see your prosperity. When you 100% surrender and submit to the plans of God and, and really grow in wisdom and stature, and grow in submission because let me tell you something every anointed person has to sit under anointed person to see the activation the bible says stir up the gifts there's an stirring that must take place and it's it's only done through submission and humility and honor and serving oh glory to god and this is how people don't want to see the oil but even jesus knew the power of submission how he would go in to sit with the priests, and they will pour out the anointing upon him to grow in wisdom and stature. Glory to God. He understood that if he wanted to stay oily as he was the anointed one and still understood the principles that he would stay to surrender, submit, and serve under any leadership so that he could continue to grow in wisdom and stature. Glory to God. Prosperity from God is available regardless of your natural resource, regardless of your brilliance, regardless of your education, regardless of your work ethic, hallelujah, to access godly prosperity. You must break off your wrong mindset. You must position yourself to always be a blessing and grow in the anointing to prosper. Hallelujah. It is when you respect the oil. Hallelujah. When you honor God with all of your substance. Hallelujah. You're activating a new level of anointing in your life. Every time you discipline yourself and be obedient to the word of the Lord that he speaks to your life, you grow in the anointing. Just 
says you have to grow in wisdom and knowledge and understanding and revelation. You have to grow into the anointing on your life. Just think about when Jesus was born, God could have just put him out there and do what he wanted to do because he's God all by himself. But Jesus had to grow up just like we did. He had to grow in his anointing. He had to learn how to walk in his power. He had to know who he was and his identity. Glory to God. What is the anointing? God's burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Hallelujah. It's the empowerment of the Holy Spirit that comes upon your life to give you the supernatural strength to see success. Glory to God. Samson, Elijah, and Jesus were anointed and were able to do supernatural things. Glory to God. That's just a few of them that we are looking at today. And and so as You are filled with the Holy Spirit. Your lives are filled with supernatural results. Glory to God. That's when God begins to put his super on your natural. And then the anointing begins to awaken on the inside of you. It begins to awaken your mind, your heart, your soul. Glory to God. And takes you on a journey. Hallelujah. Through your obedience. The anointing will, will lay dormant in you if you disobey God. The anointing will lay dormant in you until you receive the power of God. The anointing will move in your life when ways you don't even know or imagine until you awaken to the place of uh, 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 of wanting to come in agreement with what God wants to do. The Bible says in Amos 3 and 3, how can we walk together unless we make an appointment and we agree? And so there is an agreement with the anointing on your life that you must walk in agreement with God so that you can see the supernatural success. And so many are stuck because they want to disobey. They They want to cut corners. They want to uh, turn the corners. They want to come and give when they're in emergency situations or when they need something from God and they never tap into the full measure of their identity and the power of God that lives on the inside. The other way that you miss out on the opportunity of your prosperity and your anointing is when you don't know who God called you to and who he called you to steward the all over. It's when you don't understand the connections of others that are anointing, that you need their oil. Glory to God. I don't care how anointed you are. Everybody needs the oil of someone else. Glory to God. And if you are struggling with trauma and connecting with people and submitting, listen, what happens now that everybody want to go to the church with their friends and hang out and kick it and be cool and serve wherever they want to serve. And in that you miss out on the anointing because you're measuring the anointing by the size of a building or what's going on in the life of a person. But the oil that you need, you need to know how to locate that oil so that your anointing can increase for your prosperity. The the anointing can be the word in somebody's mouth. It can be the power to deliver you. It can be the power to heal you. It can be the power to give you wise counsel. So you don't know the all on somebody's life and you probably don't even know the all on your life, but you need to know it's time to get in the pool where someone can stir up the gifts of the anointing on your life so that you can prosper because the prosperity of the kingdom of God is for you to know who you are in God, for you to fall into in place of purpose, glory to God, fulfilling the great commission of Jesus Christ. That's where the all resides. That's where your prosperity is alive like the Lord will hold up your prosperity until you grow up in the anointing on your life because the anointing to prosper is for you to fulfill the things in which he placed for you to do in the kingdom, not just for your house, your car, and your family, and your savings, and your 401k benefits, and your retirement. It is for the kingdom of God. And when you understand the oil, and you respect the oil, and you appreciate that anytime you devalue the oil on somebody's life because of your brokenness, because of what they did to correct you, and you don't want to do what it is necessary, you You diminish the power of God in you until you repent, until you turn back, until you apologize. Glory to God. I don't care how someone handles you. I don't care how they move. I don't care. It's the oil. It's the principle. It is the principles of the kingdom that when you honor the anointing, no matter what, and you keep your hands clean and your heart pure, you'll always prosper, even in painful situations. I feel the glory. 
Oh, glory to God. Hi, y'all. Ah. The anointing removes the burdens and it destroys the yoke. The anointing will shift your life. Hallelujah. The anointing heals. The anointing delivers. The anointing prospers your life. Glory to God. The anointing causes the promise of God to be evident in your life. Glory to God. The one of the greatest things that God has given you is the oil. The oil is so valuable. It's, it, money can't buy the oil. <laughs> it cannot buy the oil. Money cannot buy. You can't buy the oil off of anybody's life. You can you can sow into the oil, the anointing. You you can absolutely sow into the anointing. It will absolutely unlock new levels of favor. That's why the Bible says if you give the prophet a glass of water, you receive a proper reward. So whatever you give a to anointed person, you're gonna absolutely unlock new levels of financial freedom in your life. Glory to God. One of the greatest things God has given you is the anointing. Don't you search after and your gifts and your your degrees and all these things before you search after the oil that's going to give you the stamina that you need, the grace that you need, the strength that you need, the wisdom you need, the power you need to get your will. Glory to God. Smart, intellect, creativity, or any other gift are good, but do not compare to the same level of the anointing on your life. And when the anointing comes, it comes with the power to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to set the captives free, for you to walk in prosperity. Glory to God. When you receive Jesus, you receive the anointed run. You receive the prosperity. Hallelujah. You are anointed. You are set apart. You are called out. Glory to God. However, the anointing on your life must grow for it to affect your life and others. And yes, God will use you on every level. But it's time for you to grow to another level of anointing by really being stirred up, activated, and being going into the new dimensions of what God, and that requires submission, humility, and truth. Hallelujah. The Bible does not tell us specifically how the anointing grows. But if you study the lives of people in the Bible, glory to God, you will see, hallelujah, you will locate how the anointing grew in their life. Hallelujah. Elijah grew in the anointing. He was plowing the 12 oxen. Hallelujah. He gave them up to serve faithfully with Elijah for 13 to 19 years. Glory to God. He grew in the anointing and he did double the miracles of Elijah. He received a double portion because of his time of submission under the anointed one. Hallelujah. Saul grew in the anointing. When he first met Jesus on the road to Damascus, he didn't know much. Saul then went through a process of growth and development as the apostle Paul. He grew in the anointing. Jesus grew in the anointing. Glory to God. Jesus at the age of 12 years old and was teaching in the synagogue was not the same Jesus that came out of the wilderness after being tempted by the devil. Glory to God. The Bible states that he grew in grace and wisdom and stature, and so will you. Glory to God. How do we grow in the anointing? Huh? To receive our prosperity. Hallelujah. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You must follow mature believers who walk in a strong anointing. You must submit unto them. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You must spend time with God through studying the Bible and praying and being obedient to the steps in which God has called you to. Glory to God. You must pass the test and overcome the trials of temptation. Glory to God. You must gain experience and achievement victory through faith. Glory to God. You must be faithful wherever you are planted and rooted. Hallelujah. Jesus. Ha. Huh? You should desire to grow in your anointing. Without the anointing, you will live the same life you've been living without any strength, peace, joy, power. Hallelujah. You make the choice. God is a gentleman. He does not force his oil on you. He pours the oil on you and says, now the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Ha. Huh? He's anointed you. He's anointed you. He has anointed you. Hallelujah. 
without the anointing, you will live life in your strength alone. Without the anointing, hallelujah, you will not see wise counsel. You will not begin to see the manifestation of the full measure of who you are in Christ. Your identity will stay stagnated. Your family will stay stagnated. The power of God's wealth will stay stagnated. Glory to God. The favor will stay stagnated. The waters will stay stagnated. Your peace and your joy will stay stagnated. You will not see the things in which God has called you to be. Hallelujah. You can go in and out of growth and anointing based upon how you move in the spirit. Hey, glory to God. Meaning as you, if you don't get in that word and meditate on that word and do what the word of God says, you can, your, it can stunt your pro- progress of the anointing on your life. Yes, it can. You can go in and out of, uh, uh, what I said, uh, what did God say the other day, how you can go in and out of the wilderness you can go in and out of, uh, of the fulfillment of what God has given you. You can pull back and you can hold up things because of your trauma. Uh, based upon how people move, how, how you've been treated, how you've been handled. And yes, when you're anointed, you're going to be persecuted. When you're anointed, you're going to be lied upon. When you're anointed, you're going to always have a Judas in your table. When you're anointed, you're going to always see people that are jealous of you. When you're anointed, you're going to always have uh, the adversity on in the workplace and wherever else you go. When you're anointed, you're going to always be tempted in the wilderness. When you're anointed, you're going to always have the works of, uh, of those things around you, people rejecting you in and out of season. You're going to see the painful places of your life, but oh, you're anointed to prosper today. I decree and declare that this impartation today is unlocking new levels of wealth on your life. I decree and declare you're going to new dimensions of anointing in grace and mercy, through power, through wisdom, through strength, through all understanding. You're you're anointed to prosper. Hallelujah. I decree and declare you're empowered to walk in new levels and new dimensions of walking with the Holy Spirit at greater heights and greater depths. I decree and declare, hallelujah, you will perceive, believe, and receive the anointing on your life, cost you everything, and you will steward the oil well. I decree and declare you will no longer be intimidated by the anointing on your life. You will embrace it. You will begin to mature it. You will begin to cultivate it. You'll begin to dig up around it where there is nothing that will stagnate the oil of your life. Glory to God. I decree and declare that you're coming into new dimensions of power to overcome the adversity in your life. You're no longer going to stay in a stuck, stagnated state and condition that keeps you like you don't have a way of escape. You're anointed to escape the works of the devil. You anointed to escape the poverty, the debt, all the struggles, financial struggles, the places that you're in, the things that you're doing, things that seem like there's no hope. I decree and declare you anointed to overtake every demonic thing that's tried to keep you in a stuck, stagnated state. I decree and declare that you're going to appreciate value those that are anointed in your life that have been called to cultivate the oil, that stir up the oil, hallelujah, to bring infusion of the oil that you will be so oily that you'll slip out of the hands of the enemy. Glory to God. You're so oily that you'll call whatever person that is stuck to be pulled out of the pit of hell. You are so oily that you have the power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover, including yourself. Glory to God. There is no way the anointing and sickness can reside. I hear the Holy Ghost. I'm out of time, but I'm not out of message. You got to realize today, those of you who are dealing with sickness in your body, You have chosen sickness instead of the anointing. You are anointed to outgrow the sickness, to overpower the sickness, to walk in all new levels of power, to be healed. If you would just rest in the anointing, rest in the power, submit unto the Holy Ghost and know that you may do, may have to do some things. You may have to change your diet. You may have to go and exercise. You may have to move something. You may have to get some wisdom, but if you are anointed for the healing, the power of Jesus and sickness has no power. When you really tap into the anointing sickness has no authority in your body. You're letting that thing know that you got to go. I've located you and you got to go. You have no power over me. You got to go in the mighty name of Jesus. So I decree and declare every place that something that does not have authority from the works of the devil, 
that is living, resting, ruling, and abiding in you, that the anointing on your life, when you open your mouth, it will be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. I activate the new level of oil on your life. I pour out my spirit, the spirit of God, upon your life. I speak to you now. I decree and declare that this new level of oil is going to shift your financial freedom. It's going to bring you into breakthrough. It's going to deliver your household. It's going to set your family free. Supernaturally, God is going to locate your house and he's going to distribute new oil, the anointing to get you out of debt, the anointing to get you to a new bracket of financial freedom, the anointing to search out the favor for the house and the favor for the car and the favor for the things you need. Hallelujah. For your business. God Almighty, the anointing one that lives on the inner side, honor him. He's the, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Honor him with your body. Honor him with your home. Honor him with your finances. Honor him with your gifts, your calling. Honor him with being obedient to the instructions of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I seal this impartation through the power of the blood. I rebuke the spirit of backlash and retaliation. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be destroyed. I decree and declare that this word is in motion, that the anointing, I see it. I literally see oil in the air being searched out to where it needs to go, just as if it was wind. Hallelujah. The wind you can't see, but the oil, hallelujah, they're going to see you. I hear the Lord say, they're going to see you because I'm sending you out in the wind. Glory to God. And, and this thing is moving at the speed of light. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you for your word. It is sure. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. I got to go. Love you guys. We will see you tomorrow morning. Hope to see you tonight. 6.30 p.m. Glory to God. 6091 North Titania Drive. I got to go. Glory to I feel I can sit here and rest in this oil. I'm resting in this oil. This infusion tonight, uh, today, I rest in this oil. Somebody say it with me. I'm resting in this new anointing on my life. I'm resting in the power to get wealth. It's activated. It's in motion. It's moving everything out of my way. Glory to God. Yellow yeah, boy. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So into this word today, MilwaukeeMovement.org. Click the give button, cash app, the dollar sign, the movement center. Look for the green, white, blue logo. We love you with the love of the Lord. See you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. God bless.